Hey guys, what it do? It's your boy Supreme here to God. Now, I made a video a very long time ago. It was actually shortly after Gojo died, explaining why Sukuna went all out and everything that he didn't do, he just simply couldn't do, couldn't do, and he had nothing to do with, you know, this. I mean, he had a plan, of course, but he literally couldn't do certain things because Gojo wouldn't allow it because Gojo was just too goddamn strong, and so Sukuna did not have the opportunity to use certain moves. And I even made another video to say why Urime was wrong and that she is glazing and that Sukuna did go all out against Gojo. She simply was unaware of all the binding vows and all of the things that Sukuna had to do in order to keep that fight that close. And the fact that he also had Maharaga and a plan that he had to try to execute because that was the only sure bet way for him to win. Um... Or at least that was the closest thing to a sure bet way for him to win. And the battle was an extreme diff. I had people arguing with me, calling me a D-Rider, telling me I'm coping. I had all type of situations. A lot of people also agreed and they were like, yeah, it's a close battle. Fair juice. Um, I've been proven right, of course. Uh, per usual, at some point, eventually, I usually get proven right because I literally do this. You know what I'm saying? I, I write books. So, like, I can tell narrative implication, the narrative intentions. I can tell a lot of these things. And I, and I have good reading comprehension. Not the best in the world, but I have pretty good reading comprehension. Uh, I, I literally studied English at university. So, I have to have some kind of, you know, passable reading comprehension. A lot of people don't, uh, which is fine but they shouldn't be arguing on the internet about it but it's okay <laughs> i love i love the beef guys so don't worry about it we're gonna cook today so uh we find out in this chapter why sukuna couldn't use furnace right um and now some people are already arguing oh that he still could have used it in the first clash and yada 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 yeah but i think they're, they're missing a certain key information here right um a with with Gage's writing, he doesn't overly explain everything. He kind of, he I mean, he does and he doesn't, right? It's it's weird. He really explains a lot of details, but he always leaves a lot of detail out of the details that he's explaining. This is something that he does quite frequently, right? Uh, we don't understand how everything works in, in, in his world. He doesn't understand how everything works in his world. So that's something we have to pay attention to as well. Um, In this chapter, when he is discussing and, and, and talking about uh gojo versus sukuna right so i'm just going to read exactly what it says word for word verbatim this is tcb scans right so uh, official scans we're gonna see what the fuck john wary is gonna do but we know he's gonna uh bro he's gonna say gojo could use the furnace or something bro like but anyways on top of constantly altering the necessary conditions for his barrier techniques so pay attention to that it says on top of of constantly altering the necessary condition for his barrier techniques. So he was constantly altering the necessary condition for his barrier techniques against Gojo. Constantly. This means throughout the fight, whenever he opened his first domain, second domain, third domain, he was constantly altering necessary conditions for his barrier techniques. Now, this is important here. He's doing this in order to to defeat Gojo's uh, uh, unlimited void, right? He's altering his own, he's doing binding vows or altering conditions constantly throughout the fight, right? constantly so this means it was happening every time even when we weren't told it was happening it was always happening it was always trying to see okay if i make it a bit bigger if i make it a bit smaller if i do this if i do that and on top of that this is for the second and and subscript subsequent subsequent um uh domain expansions after the repeated use of binding vows to alter his effective range meant that during his battle with gojo satoru the furnace remained cooled as sukuna didn't have the freedom Important here, the freedom to unseal his flame. Reading comprehension, ladies and gentlemen, the freedom. If you do not have freedom, that means you're being constrained, right? That means it is not out of free will. You are being forced or constrained to not be able to do something. You do not have the freedom to do such thing. He does not have the freedom. Say it with me. Sukuna did not, it doesn't matter what head cannons you have. The narrator, oh, listen. That's if you don't, if you don't, if you don't believe in the, if you, uh, you might believe in the unreliable narrator. But if you believe in the nar narrator being reliable, Sukuna couldn't use the freaking furnace. That's it. It was an extreme dip fight. Thank you. He did everything he could. He eventually won. He is stronger because he won. But he was a uh, next move wins type of fight. I'm out. <laughs> 